Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, welcome to the Blessed Messages for You channel. It's with great joy that we meet again to share the wonders of God's Word. Before we dive into today's topic, I'd like to make a special request. If this message touches your heart and builds up your life, please help us spread this word of hope. Click the like button, subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to leave a comment sharing your thoughts. Your participation is crucial in helping us reach more people with the transformative message of the gospel. Today, we're going to explore a theme that's at the heart of our faith, God's unconditional love for us. We'll base our reflection on one of the most well-known and beloved verses in the Bible, John 3.16, which says, For God so loved the world that He gave His one and only Son, that whoever believes in Him shall not perish, but have eternal life. This verse, in its simplicity and depth, captures the essence of the gospel and reveals to us the loving heart of our Heavenly Father. Let's unpack the riches contained in this passage together and discover how we can fully embrace God's love in our lives. God's love isn't an abstract concept or a passing emotion. It's a powerful, transformative force that's at the center of who God is. As 1 John 4, 8 tells us, Whoever does not love does not know God, because God is love. Love isn't just something God does, it's the very essence of His being. When John 3.16 tells us that God so loved the world, the original Greek expression suggests an intensity and quality of love that goes beyond our human understanding. It's a love that transcends our limited notions and invites us to expand our understanding of what true love really means. This divine love isn't motivated by our goodness or worthiness. Romans 5.8 reminds us, but God demonstrates His own love for us in this. While we were still sinners, Christ died for us. God's love isn't a response to our righteousness, but a gracious initiative that precedes any action on our part. The Universality of God's Love Notice that John chapter 3, verse 16 tells us that God loved the world. This word, world, in Greek cosmos, doesn't just refer to the physical planet, but to all of humanity in its fallen and rebellious condition. God's love knows no ethnic, cultural, or social boundaries. It extends to every person, regardless of their origin, status, or personal history. In Acts chapter 10, verses 34 to 35, Peter declares, I now realize how true it is that God does not show favoritism, but accepts from every nation the one who fears Him and does what is right. God's love is universal, encompassing all the diversity of the human family. This challenges us to expand our own capacity to love. If God loves the whole world, including those we find difficult to love, how much more should we, as His followers, strive to love everyone, even our enemies, as Jesus taught us in Matthew chapter 5, verse 44. The Supreme Expression of God's Love John chapter 3, verse 16 tells us that God gave His one and only Son. This act of giving wasn't just a symbolic gesture, but the supreme sacrifice. Jesus, the eternal Son of God, left the glory of heaven to become one of us, living a perfect human life and ultimately dying in our place on the cross. Paul expresses the magnitude of this sacrifice in Romans chapter 8, verse 32. He who did not spare his own Son, but gave him up for us all, how will he not also, along with him, graciously give us all things? The gift of God's Son is the ultimate proof of the Father's love for us. This act of divine love invites a response from us. How can we remain indifferent in the face of such great love? 1 John chapter 4 verse 19 reminds us, We love because He first loved us. God's love not only saves us but also transforms us, enabling us to love others with the same sacrificial love we've received. The Purpose of God's Love John chapter 3 verse 16 clearly reveals the purpose of God's love, that whoever believes in Him shall not perish but have eternal life. God's love isn't an end in itself, but has a redemptive goal. It seeks to rescue us from spiritual death and grant us eternal life. 
The word perish here doesn't refer to mere cessation of existence, but to an eternal separation from God, the source of all life and blessedness. God's love extends to save us from this terrible possibility and offer us, instead, eternal life. This eternal life isn't simply an endless existence, but a quality of life, God's own life shared with us. Jesus defines this eternal life in John chapter 17, verse 3. Now this is eternal life, that they know you, the only true God, and Jesus Christ, whom you have sent. It's an intimate and personal relationship with God that begins now and continues for eternity. The verse tells us that this offer of eternal life is for whoever believes in Him. The word believes here implies more than mere intellectual assent. It involves trust, commitment, and surrender. It's a faith that transforms our entire life. This faith isn't a work we perform to earn God's favor. On the contrary, it's our response to the love God has already demonstrated. As Paul writes in Ephesians chapter 2, verses 8 to 9, For it is by grace you have been saved, through faith. And this is not from yourselves, it is the gift of God, not by works, so that no one can boast. Embracing God's love means recognizing our need for it, abandoning our self-sufficiency, and surrendering completely to Christ. It's allowing God's love to penetrate every aspect of our lives, transforming our thoughts, attitudes, and actions. Understanding and experiencing God's love has profound implications for our lives. Let's explore some of them. 1. Security and Confidence Knowing God's unconditional love gives us a solid foundation of security. Romans chapter 8 verses 38 to 39 assure us that nothing can separate us from God's love. This certainty allows us to face life's challenges with confidence, knowing that we are unconditionally loved by the Creator of the universe. 2. Freedom from Fear 1 John chapter 4 verse 18 tells us, There is no fear in love, but perfect love drives out fear. When we truly embrace God's love, we are freed from the fear of judgment, failure, and the future. We can live boldly, knowing that we are secure in God's love. 3. Worth and Identity God's love gives us a deep sense of worth and identity. We don't need to seek validation from the world or the opinions of others. As John reminds us in 1 John chapter 3, verse 1, See what great love the Father has lavished on us, that we should be called children of God. And that is what we are. 4. Ability to Love Others. Experiencing God's love enables us to love others more deeply and sacrificially, as Jesus commands us in John chapter 13, verse 34. As I have loved you, so you must love one another. The love we receive from God overflows into our relationships with others. 5. Motivation for Holiness God's love doesn't give us a license to sin, but motivates us to holiness. As Paul writes in 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verses 14 to 15, For Christ's love compels us. And he died for all, that those who live should no longer live for themselves, but for him who died for them and was raised again. 6. Peace and Contentment Knowing God's love brings us a deep peace and contentment that the world cannot offer. As Paul testifies in Philippians chapter 4 verse 7, And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. So, how can we live daily in the reality of God's love? Here are some practical suggestions. 1. Meditate on God's Word. The Bible is full of passages that speak of God's love. Take time to read, memorize, and meditate on these truths. Allow them to penetrate deeply into your heart and mind. 2. Practice Gratitude. Develop the habit of thanking God daily for His love. Recognize the specific ways He demonstrates His love in your life. 3. Worship. 
worship connects us with God's heart. When we worship, we remember who God is and how much He loves us. Let your worship be a response to God's love. 4. Serve others. Demonstrate God's love to others through acts of service and kindness. As Jesus taught us, when we serve others, we're serving Him. Matthew chapter 25 verse 40. 5. Practice forgiveness. Just as God forgave us in Christ, we must forgive others. Forgiveness is a powerful demonstration of God's love flowing through us. 6. Seek fellowship. Connect regularly with other believers. Christian fellowship reminds us of God's love and encourages us to live in that love. 7. Trust in God's promises. In times of doubt or difficulty, cling to God's promises. Remember that His love for you is constant regardless of circumstances. Dear brothers and sisters, may we marvel every day at the greatness of God's love for us, a love so vast that it gave His only Son, so deep that it reaches the greatest sinners, so high that it elevates us to the position of sons and daughters of God, and so wide that it encompasses all of humanity. May we, as Paul prayed for the Ephesians, be strengthened in our inner being, so that being rooted and established in love may have power, together with all the Lord's holy people, to grasp how wide and long and high and deep is the love of Christ, and to know this love that surpasses knowledge, that you may be filled to the measure of all the fullness of God. Ephesians chapter 3 verses 17 to 19. May God's love not just be a theological concept for us, but a living and transforming reality in our daily lives. May we live in such a way that others see and experience God's love through us. If this message has touched your heart, I invite you to continue with us on this journey of discovering God's love. Don't forget to subscribe to the Blessed Messages for You channel, like this video, and leave a comment sharing how God's love has impacted your life or in what areas you'd like to experience this love more deeply. Remember, God's love for you is immeasurably great, unchangeably faithful, and eternally secure. No matter what you face today or in the future, you can rest in the certainty of this unfailing love. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God the Father, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen.